Hi guys, Paul here again from PA Brunos Painting with PA Brunos episode 14. We're going to just do something kind of weird. Uh, a long time ago I showed you how to make a little bit, or at least I exposed, a little bit of a wooden background as a frame on a painting I did a couple episodes ago. I'll show you how to do that right now. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit of time, just pull that back a little bit, just so you can see everything. And I don't get in your way too much, but don't worry, I'll get in your way. I do that. Anyway, what I did was I covered everything with a thin, even coat of liquid clear, 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 what? Well, Peter knows how sometimes you can't talk. Okay, let's say, okay, a thin, even coat of liquid clear. Just put it on there, and if you want to, just to make sure you have enough, but not too much. Take a paper towel and kind of wipe wet, whatever sticks there, good to go. So it's thin, it's uh, it's wet, slick, ready to go. I took a mixture of alizarin, alizarin crimson and sap green, mix them together. They make a beautiful brown. And when you mix them together, you kind of mix them the way you want. You can make it to the red side, you can make it to the green side, however you want. I mix it a little bit towards the red side and we'll see what we can go on. So we're just going to tap a little bit of color into the brush, not too much. You can always add more, it's a heck of a thing to take it off. And you're just going to come up here and go up and down. Just like this. Big strips, strips of color. Trying to make it look like old boards, old wood. Leave all these streakies in there, let it go, let it have fun, let it play. Get some more color, make it dark one. Nice. Look at that. See that? That's a happy accident. Leave that thing in it's good. It's good for you. It makes you happy. Look at that. Don't try to, just let it happen. Don't try to find it too much. And you'll see what's how it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. All you keep doing is just tap a little bit more color. Lightly go across. We're going to lightly go across this one. Just pick up some of the highlights. Let it, kind of let the brush do its thing, if you know what I mean. Just kind of let it put whatever color it wants on it. Sometimes, and then go a little bit more. Make another one. Real dark. More color. And again, this is just a mixture of Elysium Crimson and Sap Green. However you want a little bit to the, add a little bit more green. If you want to the greenish side, add a little bit more red. If you want it to the reddish side, because it depends on what you're doing. I think, and the, some people wonder, like, what can you do with a nice greenish wood? But I think an old, like old, old, like a, Oh, what's the word I'm trying to look like a, like a swamp scene or something like that would be kind of good, I think. The nice, the nice greener kind of a wood. I think it would be nice. Okay, so we have something that looks a little bit like wood. Mm, whatever. You can stop there, just use that. That's fine too. We're going to go a little bit extra. I'll show you what. Now we're going to have some fun. Let's get crazy. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the fan brush. We're going to whap it around a little bit of the paint thinner, tap off, tap off the rest, and liquid clear and paint thinner have a very violent reaction. So what you do is you get up here and you start wiggling. If you have a little bit of a twitch, you're way ahead of the game. Wiggle it down, both sides, wiggle it, come up a little bit, kind of smooth it out. A little bit more paint thinner. All right. And this one we're just gonna, I'm just gonna come across this way. And you can kind of see this working. Just 
can do that too. You can see what that is. Work it up. Make it nice and smooth after you get done doing it. This one. Maybe it has a little bit of a, maybe it comes on both sides. There's a little bit of an angle grain to it. Alright, something like that. Again, we're going to tap it off and just. So, oh, look at that. It's a light touch, and sometimes you lose your brush. That happens. And sometimes you can actually just follow, like sometimes when you do these strokes, you can kind of just see already how you want to make your brush go just by, by looking at the strokes you make. And the more, and it's going to take, it's going to take a little bit of time, but the longer and longer this sits, the more of a violent, violent reaction it'll have. And the more of little doers it'll actually make, and things will play and have fun. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Here we have a clean brush <clears throat> and old looking wood. There you go. Pretty much simple. And then that's your background. Now, let's, let's build something on top of that background. Take a little bit of that brown that we made, just dark color, black, Van Dyke brown. Smear them together. <clears throat> no, baby. Now, somewhere in there, where your mountain lives, make a little. I haven't made a mountain in a while, so I don't really think so. That's one of the reasons why I haven't been making mountains. But we'll make one of those. We'll make one here. Dad, a call back in just a bit. I think that's pretty good. Right. Take a little clean brush. We'll just use the one with our brown stuff on it. No deal. It's cool. All we're doing right now is removing excess paint. That's all we're doing. Just removing the excess paint on the canvas. Beat it off to get rid of excess paint. That's a nice basis brown. Alright. Take a little bit of that brown color I had going on. White. Together. Make it kind of marbly. Just make it a little bit 
Nothing too crazy. Alright, brush. Boop, 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 boop. Tap. Tap the base of the fountain. Slightly for a little bit of a different brush that will. I was just get contact. Two areas and some nice and I'll mount one back there. Okay. Now we're just going to go into a dark color. Black, and the brown, the blues that we have, whatever. Green. It's watercolor. Okay, well, I'll we'll figure out what you want. You want. Clean my brush. Make them the reflectors. It's all all wet. It's gonna do this and stuff. Kind of pull down the back a little bit left in the front. I need to do that illusion of distance. Come over here. New brush. <clears throat> you want some greens, some yellows, greens. Maybe you know light in there. Whatever. Hint, hint, paint in there. A little bit thing. Tap in there. Final night. And then we'll get some big things. Sometimes if you don't make it, it's done. Some people will think it's done. Oh, I do. Take your color. Just, excuse me, if you can see that. Just touch it on. A little 
least. L least. Again, least. Least little bit of. Not every tree needs highlight. Sure Looks like the sun's coming from this side, so you want to highlight that side just a bit more. Highlights on the trees. Come in with a little bit of white, yellows, maybe a little bit of pink thinner too. Add some colors into the brush. You can color, mix them all up on the brush. Come in here and just touch up. Make a little bit of grassy thing that can live here and here. Way in the back. Don't kill all the dark though. Leave a lot of this nice dark color that lives back there. Highlight the brush a little more. You want to? Move that down a little bit. So what we just did here. Just a little background back here. All right. A little bit of the liquid white, which I forgot to get out. That's all right. Want to for a second. A little liquid white. Across right here, get a little color line here, a little on there. Get your ideas of how the water just sits back here, way in the back. See, it goes way, way back now. gets too bright, the more you rub it, the more it'll mix with the color underneath. So you're good. Time we got going on. 22 minutes. All right. Let's throw some highlights on this thing. Again, going in a little least bit of paint thinner. Go back into these colors that we were mixing up before. Excuse my reach. 
Even the hint is a little bit of blue in there too. Yeah, there. That's nice. A little blue in that too. Okay. Come up here. You know what we did? <laughs> Gotta give the guy a trunk to stand on or else it'll fall over. We'll take a little bit mixture of that white and brown that we had before and just touch the idea. If you don't want to do that, you can still do that for these guys. Not everyone will be able to see their trunk. Just like that. Okay, good. We can even push up a little grassy area here. Push things up like that. Okay. Let's walk a little darker color down. More for that white color, marble it up. Brush it wherever it hits it gets. Don't worry about it. It sits, it sits in there. there. Okay. Let's have some fun. Get a little brush, just beating it around to make sure I know it it's nice and thin. Nice and malleable, I guess we should say. That's the key. Nice and malleable. A little bit thin. Because we don't want this stuff to stick. We got a lot of paint right there. So we want to make sure this stuff sticks. So you have the least, least little bit of paint thinner. Right, right, to go down. We got some green going on up here. Fix it on your brush. See if you come up. A lot of paint. That's what you do. A lot. Excuse my rattling. Excuse my reach. A lot of paint for this brush. Let's come up here. It's almost curled over, if you can see that. Here, let's just touch up. Make a little bush here and there. It really works well in the dark areas too. Alright, go back into this. Go back into the brighter colors. Whites. That's stuff that really stands out. It needs a fire effect too. Alright. Tap it in there. Up here. Just barely, barely touching it, pushing out. Try not to let the brush slide too much. Just like that. 
Okay, scrape in again. A few sticks. Nine minutes. Fish pushing to the 30. Put it there. Take your little liner brush just in case if you want to. Get it nice and thin. Thin it down with some paint thinner. Just like that. If you can, if you can let's see if we can do this. Get it nice and thin. You take one side to the liquid white. Okay? It's going to come here. Twig, okay. this way, you can make the highlight side, at the same time, you make the dark side. A little more thinner, and come around the paint. Just go around, keep going, take one side to the liquid white, just like that. Go here, that's one, right there, that works there. Where you lean the pole on. Just to make fishes. Stick them out just like that. Just like that. Okay. We'll call this one done. All right. This is a nice little way to make an interesting painting that's a little bit different. Um, again, it's super easy. It's super fun. Uh, this is a very simplistic painting. I know that. But uh, it's something that you can give a go and see what you can do. Let's take you out of the glare for a second. Just so you can see this, pushing around the 30 minute mark. This is a simple, little fun painting that you can do. And it really just, it's an interesting painting that brightens up the room. There you go. This has been Paul from P.A. Brunos with another Painting with P.A. Brunos, episode 14. I hope you really enjoyed this. I'll see you again for episode 15. Cheers. Bye-bye.